Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be talking about um, computers that came installed with Windows Vista back in 2007. Back in 2007, many computers that came pre-installed with Windows Vista were known to be very, very slow. And of course, Windows Vista itself has had plenty of criticism about being extremely slow, but that wasn't the only reason why Vista computers were so slow. It seems as if many computers from 2007 and the ones that were um, manufactured in 2006 for Windows Vista, deemed as Vista Ready or Vista Capable, came with extremely low amounts of memory. I mean, Windows Vista and Windows 7 prefer to have at least 2 gigs of RAM on a 32-bit install, and if you're using 64-bit, a minimum of 4 gigs is recommended. This is a compact Presario C700 that I got in for service doing a Windows reinstall on it and um, this machine only has one gig of RAM and here we are running Windows Task Manager a couple of Windows Explorer windows a VG antivirus and a Java setup installer and we're using 68% of the installed memory let's have a look at this we're not even running a browser or anything, just sitting here idle run a couple of little programs. And here we are using over half the memory. And just about 10 minutes ago, it was almost all the way up to 100% usage. It was up to at least 95% used in terms of the RAM. And when you had this much memory getting used up at such a quick pace, the computer gets extremely slow because it has to run with um, what's called virtual memory on the hard drive. And the hard drive itself is one of the slowest components in the computer because it's mechanical. Now of course solid state drives are a whole lot faster. But like I say, um, many Windows Vista computers that um, came out right after Vista was released and um, before Vista was released that were deemed ready for Vista seem to have um, a lack of adequate memory to run Windows Vista. And that's why you'll commonly find that your Windows Vista computer from let's say 2007 was extremely slow and um, if you're wondering if there's a fix for this sure there is um, all you have to do is add some additional memory to the computer and I have several videos on YouTube of installing memory and in this case with the laptop I do have a video from 2009 and a more recent video from late last year when I was working on a Dell Inspiron 1525 laptop installing memory to it. So if you're curious of how that's done, feel free to watch those videos. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask.